Have you ever wondered what kind of money you need to make to afford a house in the United States most expensive major cities? I know I have. I've also wondered how much it would take to buy all the cheese in a grocery store. Like all of it from cheddar to Limburger. Then just sit there and watch customers come in and go, what happened to all the cheese? Let's say you want to buy a house and no cheese, just the house. Can you afford to buy a home in the United States most expensive real estate markets? So what I'm going to give you is the median listing price for these major cities and the median household income income. At the time of researching this, the median listing price in the United States, like the national average type thing, was $370,000. And that meant that the median household income had to be about $75,000 to afford that house. So how did we figure all this out? We went and found what the median home price was for the first quarter of 2022. Then we looked at the average mortgage rate of a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, available property taxes, and average homeowner insurance costs. And this helped give us an idea of how much you would have to make to buy a house in this area. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Washington, D.C. That's right, the nation's capital shows up on a list. Washington, D.C. is known for a lot of ridiculousness. Is that a word, ridiculousness? But they're known for it. I mean, they've got ridiculous politics, ridiculous crime rate, and a ridiculous median home price. The median home price in Washington, D.C. in 2022 is $553,000. Now, when you're looking at home prices, median is usually just for real estate agents and economists and crap like that. The average person wants to know kind of what the average price is. So the median home price, like I said, is $553,000. Realistically, you're going to want at least $700,000 to buy a decent home in the Washington, D.C. area. Most of the good ones are about $1.2 million and up way up. But if you're going to buy that median home price, you're going to need a median household income of $110,337. That's a couple, one making 60 grand, the other one making 50 grand. You could buy that house. Number nine, Austin, Texas. You know, Austin, Texas was a hot spot for millennials for a long time. Then Gen Z started jumping on the bandwagon and people started saying that, oh, Austin's overdone and everyone's leaving now and stuff like that. No, the numbers don't show people are leaving Austin in any major <laughs> migration pattern. Austin is a great place for people, I'd say 40 and below. Great music scene, great beer scene. The metro area has got a lot of things going on and it's still really popular. And the home prices kind of show it. The median home price in Austin, Texas is $540,700. The realistic price about Austin housing is kind of close to what their median is. You could find a lot of good homes there for $400,000 to $550,000. So this one isn't much of a stretch. Now, they do have a lot of really nice ones that start off at $700,000 and go up to $2 million. But that median home price doesn't seem to be too far off of the average, I would say, for a decent home. Number eight, Denver, Colorado. Denver is one of those cities that people just hate new people moving to. If you look at the comment section of any video I've ever done about Denver or really Colorado, they're one of the most vocal groups of people about don't come here, we don't want you. Idaho's the other one. States you'll never hear that from, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alaska. Alaska, just because they have hardly anyone living there and everyone's lonely. They need to run a commercial up there. Move to Alaska. Please. The other day I talked to a moose for two hours because I hadn't seen a human in three weeks. When it comes to a city or state's popularity, you always got hot and cold years. You know, they'll be hot for a couple years, then it'll just kind of cool off and nobody's really moving there anymore. Denver has always been kind of hot and then warm. It never really gets cold as far as the crowds heading to Denver. And that helps keep their home prices pretty high. The median home price in Denver is $662,200. Like Austin, and that number is actually, it might be a little higher than what you could find in a lot of different situations. There's a lot of homes there that are going for three fifty dollars to $450,000 that look decent. They're livable. They're nice. They might not be in the absolute best neighborhood, but they don't look horrible. A lot of the newer construction, especially downtown, that gets a little pricey. If you want something that's new and downtown, you're going to want to have at least $750,000. Number seven, New York City. Is anyone else shocked at this one? My entire life, people complained about New York City home prices. I mean, even when the rest of the country had reasonable home prices, they still talked about how expensive it was in New York City. It's just kind of their thing. Even when New York City was going through its worst phases, they were still outrageously expensive. The entire state has overpriced real estate. Maybe not Syracuse. Syracuse kind of blows. 
But back down to New York City, the median home price in New York City is $578,100. And when you add it all up, the median household income has to be about $129,459 to afford that house in New York City. Now, in New York City's case, that might be condos, duplex. You know, they have very few single family homes that have a backyard and, you know, a side yard and all that good stuff. Number six, Boston, Massachusetts. Beantown has been climbing the ranks of the very expensive in the last couple decades. They've always been expensive. It's a major city. But in the last few years, they've kind of moved from the number 10 and 9 spot. And I've seen them on different things when it comes to cost of living and stuff, where they're number 5 and number 4. So it's getting more expensive and they have some of the worst traffic in the nation. At least you can still catch a Red Sox game. That kind of makes up for all its problems. The median home price in Boston is $639,000 and the household income you're going to need to afford that is $130,203. Now, it says $639,000, but if you find anything under, let's say, $550,000, it's not worth having. Most of the decent homes that you'd want to have are going to be $800,000 on up. Boston is a very expensive city. Cost of living is through the roof, and their housing is through the roof as well. Number five, Seattle. Seattle is our last stop outside of the state of California. Yeah, the last four are all in California. But in reality, Seattle is kind of like the wet and gray version of San Francisco. Seattle's got its traffic. Seattle's got its gloom, its rain, its homeless situation. And they're expensive still. I've said it before. Seattle's slogan should be, we know we suck, but we're going to charge you like we don't. Seattle's like a $100,000 jump from number six, Boston. That's how expensive this place is. The median home price is $746,200. You know, for prices to be that high, there has to be people willing to pay those prices. Who wants to live in Seattle that bad? I like the city. I have a good time every time I go there. I think it's beautiful. You got the Puget Sound right there. Elliott Bay. It's an amazing city, but it ain't worth that. That's the median. Wait till you hear what the typical house goes for there. If you want to buy a shack here, it's going to be $650,000, but you better hurry. If you spend a week thinking about it, you're going to have a developer snatch that house up before you even have a chance to put in a bid. If you want to live in something decent in Seattle, don't expect to pay anything under $850,000, and they go way up three, four, five million dollars If you find anything below that, it's going to be a rundown condo. Maybe you can find an affordable house houseboat in Seattle. They have a lot of those, but those aren't even cheap. You might be able to find one for $300,000 and be the new captain of the SS Headlice or something. If you want to get that median home they were talking about for $746,000, you're going to need a annual household income of $145,768. Number four, Los Angeles. Los Angeles used to be one of the most expensive places to live in the country. I mean, it was always like one or two behind New York City or something like that. The streets of gold have kind of tarnished over the last decade or so, and it's not as popular as it used to be. People are still flooding in there, just not at the rate they used to. But the median home price in Los Angeles in 2022 is $792,500. Unless, of course, you're a homeless person, you just go down to Skid Row, buy yourself a tent. I'd buy one before you get to Skid Row because nobody wants a second-hand tent. But if you want to move to Los Angeles and let's say you want to find a home for $600,000 or less, good luck. You might as well try and find that golden ticket and make it into the Wonka plant. A rundown home here costs $620,000. Now, I'm talking all of Los Angeles. The decent homes minimum are going to be seven dollars to $800,000. That's decent. Nice ones are going to start off at a million, $1.2 million, something like that. To buy that median price home in Los Angeles, you're going to need an annual household income of $149,127. Make sure you stay for number one and two. It's disturbing. Number three, San Diego. Now, this is the one that I'd choose. Out of all the ones listed so far, if I had to move to one of these, San Diego would be the one that I would move to. It's a beautiful city. Weather is perfect almost all year long. San Diego is actually considered to have the best weather in the United States. Obviously, that's opinion. That's why they call it a survey when they do that, not, you know, a math test. But if you want to buy some real estate in a city with some of the best weather in the country, it's going to run you $905,000 
$1,000. That's the median. And we're only at number three. Now, San Diego does have some neighborhoods that aren't the best. So they do have some homes that are, I would say, kind of reasonable. And reasonable for this place is six hundred dollars to 500000 somewhere in that area. But if you want to buy a house in one of the okay neighborhoods, I guess you could say, starting money is 850000 And it goes all the way up to beachfront places that are going for like $9 million, $3 million, $4 million, $32 million. There's one, $18 million. It's ridiculous. But if you want to pick up a house for that $905,000 in San Diego, you're going to need to make a household income of $166,828. Number two, San Francisco. This is where it gets ridiculous, especially when you know what's going on in San Francisco with the homeless situation, all that. Now, keep in mind that San Francisco is a good sized city and all that homeless stuff isn't going on everywhere. It's going on in a lot of places, but not the entire city. I know they make it look like that on the news or whatever. It's bad. I'm not trying to say it's not bad. It's just not every single place. And the places that it's not, they've got some very expensive homes. The median home price in San Francisco is one. $1.38 million. Yes, you heard me right. If you buy anything in San Francisco that is under a million dollars, it has bars on the windows, and it's usually for a good reason. San Francisco has its problems, and we all know about it. I mean, if you've watched this channel long enough, we've discussed it. If you've watched anything that includes a screen and electricity, you know San Francisco's in bad shape. If you're one of the 12 people in America that still gets the newspaper, maybe you've read something about it. Yeah, San Francisco's in bad shape, and it's still expensive. In the absolute worst neighborhoods in San Francisco, homes go for over $700,000. i am not even kidding. You cannot find anything under $600,000 at all. I mean, you're paying $700,000 for a house in some of these areas, and you're still stepping over homeless to get to your car to go to work in the morning. But yeah, the median home price is $1,380,000. But realistically, you can't find anything decent under $900,000. If you do, it's a unicorn, and you should latch onto it. To afford the median priced home in San Francisco, you need to make $249,000 and some change. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you got time, head over to our other channel on this day. You could subscribe there, watch some videos. There's a link down below. All right, on to number one. And number one, San Jose, California. Yep, just down the road from San Francisco, you have San Jose, and it is the most expensive place to live in the United States as far as real estate goes. There's no mystery as to why this place is so expensive. It's the tech industry. It's kind of the same thing up in San Francisco. It has a lot to do with the tech industry, but San Jose is, some years back, became a better option because San Francisco was too crowded. As Silicon Valley grew, as far as companies and jobs, so did San Jose's prices. If you want to buy a home in San Jose, the median home price is $1.8 million. There is a strange amount of homes here going for $1,099,000. It's like a whole bunch are just stuck at that price. And these are just normal homes. They're not anything special. These aren't mansions. These are typical blue collar homes. The nicer ones that let's say go for $500,000 in Utah or something like that, those go for $3 million here. They have some nice suburban homes here that just look like typical suburban homes, maybe on the upper middle class side of things. But in San Jose, that upper middle class looking home goes for $4 million. They're ridiculous when it comes to home prices. If you want to buy that $1.8 million median price home in San Jose, you'll need a median household income of $330,758. It's not worth it. Trust me, it is not worth it. If I was making $5 million, I wouldn't buy in San Jose. San Jose used to be an okay town. It's never been great, and I've been there many, many times. So back in the late 80s, up into 2010, 11, 12, I think the last time I was in San Jose was 2020. It's nothing special about this town. Home prices should not be at this level. It's ridiculous. All right, everyone, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, be nice to each other.